Welcome to Mission 100, a conversation about climate chaos and the importance of powering our planet with 100% clean and renewable energy. It's a mission that was on the ballot earlier this month when Americans everywhere went to polls to vote in the midterm election. And in state after state, from California to Maine, it won. Ten candidates running for governor across the country aggressively argued for the need to tackle the threat of climate chaos and move their states away from burning fossil fuels and towards clean, renewable energy. Many of them took on the pro-fossil fuel incumbents who have blocked renewable energy efforts in their states. And thanks to voters, voters who are caring deeply about protecting our planet, these candidates won. The Trump administration might be ignoring the science and the real world impacts of carbon pollution and climate chaos, but it's clear that the American people are not. And if action isn't going to happen at the federal level under President Trump, then they're determined to make it happen at the state and local level. So that's the lesson from this year's election, 2018. We've already seen nearly 100 cities, more than 10 counties, and a couple states commit themselves to the ambitious but possible goal of powering themselves by 100% clean and renewable energy. So if you want to see Mission 100 become a reality, if you want to transition our energy economy away from fossil fuels and towards clean and renewable energy, then use your voice to make a difference. Tell your state legislature and your governor to listen to the message that Americans everywhere sent on election night. Act now, take bold action, and help put America on a path to powering ourselves with 100% clean and renewable energy.